Hey guys, Auspicious here. And this is going to be the rules for the Scottish Players Only Celtic series. Number one, all foreign players must be sold or released. Obviously, that counts for the players that start at the club. We're getting rid of all non-Scottish players unless they have a dual nationality with Scottish nationality is one of them. Number two, players with dual nationality can be used until they receive a cap for another nation. Self-explanatory, common sense. Number three, youth caps do not count towards being eligible, only senior caps for national teams. That alludes to the second rule. Obviously, some youth players are gonna be picking up caps for different youth teams. However, if they do have Scottish nationality and they don't have a senior cap for that national team, they are eligible to play and they are considered Scottish only, even though they are a dual national. Number four, manager may not be added in order to get Scottish national team job. Obviously, I'm going to try and become the Scotland manager. And in regards to doing so, I'm not going to be able to add a manager to create a vacancy for the Scotland national team. So we need to get that by pure means. So basically, the manager needs to be sacked or retire or step down, and then we apply and become manager that way. Now, we have the goals. Goals of the series are pretty, pretty normal. Obviously, wanna win the Scottish Professional Football League, the Scottish Premiership, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm assuming that that is a given for Celtic. We also need to win the Scottish Cup and the Scottish League Cup. Both of those tournaments, I think, are very achievable for, for Celtic, even under these challenge rules. The next one, however, much more difficult, and that is to win the UEFA Champions League. Obviously, the biggest, pr well, re realistically, the biggest prize in club competition, Champions League. You know, Celtic, they have a pretty unique history with European competition. We want to further that and not just be a group stage competitor for the duration of the series. The next three goals here on the list all pertain to the national team, the first of which getting the Scottish national team job. That is a goal in itself. It's going to be relatively difficult, at least until a few seasons into the game. The next one is to win the European Championship with the Scottish national team. And finally, the last goal, the biggest goal you could probably imagine is to win the World Cup with the Scotland national team. Obviously, we can add a few stipulations onto that after we achieve that goal, or if, if we achieve that goal. Anyways, let's get into the episode. Welcome to episode two of the Celtic Scottish Players Only series here on FM20. Now, today's episode, we're following on straight after the last episode. And I just want to say thank you for all the support on the last episode. It's only been out for two days. Well, this is the second day, but the support's been pretty good, and I'm very happy with how things are going. Thank you. Anyway, let's get into the lineup for today's game in the Premiership against Hearts. Going to be a little bit difficult, I would say. Actually, sorry, there's one thing to go over. We did actually make a transfer between episodes. We have signed Ethan Ehahan. Gonna have to look up the pronunciation for that. Yeah, 18-year-old centre midfielder. Again, natural box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, I think Lee, yeah, Leeds were going after him. So I decided to pop my head in, put a transfer offer in. We signed him for 66k from St. Mirren. Again, another league rival. Albeit, he's probably not in their starting lineup. Or well, he wouldn't have been. Maybe he would have, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go back. Starting lineup, we're going to go with Bain in goals again. I'm still kind of torn between Gordon and Bain. Gordon, he's probably a little bit better, but at the same time, Bain's going to be around for another five plus years. So I feel like I should just stick with him until we get a better goalkeeper because Gordon's probably going to retire either this season or next season. I mean, if I don't play him, he's definitely going to retire this season. So... Again, it's a, a 
Catch-22. I don't, I don't know what to do. Leave a comment down below. Play Gordon or play Bane. Simple two words. Let me know what you think. Anyway, we're going to stick with the same centre-back trio of Sutar, Kerr, and Murray. Of course, Murray being the 16-year-old centre-back or centre-midfielder filling in at centre-back. Uh, we're going to stick with o O'Donnell on the right wing-back position, Taylor in the left wing-back position. We're going to go with Armstrong and McGregor, and they're going to be partnered by Henderson today on the right side of our midfield trio. Uh, that is because of Ferguson's red card. He was able to play in the Champions League qualifier. However, he is not allowed to play today in the Premiership. And then up front, we unfortunately aren't going to be able to play uh, Mr. Christie because he picked up an injury for 10 days. So I think he's going to be out for both games, if I'm not mis mistaken. So Johnston is going to come in. He's going to be partnered by Griffiths, as you'd expect. The bench day is going to be Gordon, McKenna. McKenna will pick up some game time in this one. Uh, we're then going to go with Douglas, Forrest, Hayes, Mallon, and Ferguson Williams. All right, so again, I'm just going to go with the same team talk that I usually do. Like I said, it's between that, you know, telling the players to relax, the play the natural game, and the result will come, or between expecting wins. We've actually conceded within the first six minutes there. Michael Smith being assisted by Stephen Naismith, former Everton player. Got to say, a little bit disappointing to concede in that manner. Especially so early on. Not exactly much of a highlight either for that goal. The real question is, can we bounce back straight away? I'm gonna say that that's a football manager glitch. Or a bug, because that was unrealistically bad. Yeah. Anyway, Mikey Johnston scores in that manner. And we're back at one all. No one's had a shot on target. So uh, it's essentially nil all, basically. But both teams have scored a goal. Very, very weird indeed. Anyway, Griffiths with a pretty bad shot straight at the goalkeeper there. Taylor to the back post. And O'Donnell's shot is blocked as well. And then he's just kicked the ball out. That is some weird stuff going on right now. Very weird indeed. I know we're away from home, but realistically we should probably be beating Hearts. I know they're a relatively good side in the Scottish Premiership, but... I want to say that our players are just going to be that little bit better. Even though we have sold the best players that Celtic has to an extent. Some of the best. We'll say some of the best because, you know, there are still a, quite a few good Scottish players that remain in the club. I mean, Hearts are coming forward again here. Another good opportunity for them to score, but their player blasts it over our net. Straight over the crossbar. And we are going to play it out from the back. Murray, the 16-year-old. Still doing relatively well. Johnston's in behind. Already got one goal for himself, somehow. Literally a slide tackle for that goal. And Hearts are coming forward again. They're looking pretty dangerous, especially down this right-hand side. Pretty sure that is where their goal actually came from as well.
And they are getting quite a few highlights. And they're one-on-one -on -one with the Keeper as well. And that's a pretty bad miss, you would have to say. From their left winger. Alright, Suta with a long throw. Again, we've, we've lost possession, which is pretty bad. Because realistically, we should be dominating possession. And they're in behind again, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Bain stands up big. And luckily for us, their player shot it straight at him. But yeah, we're definitely not playing too well today. We are dominating possession. Only by about 4%. I'm just going to ease Kerr off there. A little bit risky. Center backs on yellow cards can lead to disaster. I mean, they're in behind again. Washington. Another good save there by Bain. And I mean, Murray's on a 6.4. It might be time to to bring him off and bring McKenna on. I mean, Kerr's on a 6.5 as well. He's not doing too much better. There's a few bad performers out there today. I mean, realistically, I wanted to go three from three in regards to wins for the episodes. But this one, I mean, it could be finishing a draw or a loss even. You know, the shots and shots on target, they're relatively similar. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make that change. McKenna on for Murray, and then I think we'll make a change in midfield as well. We'll bring Mallon on for Armstrong there. Armstrong on a six point three, which is pretty dreadful. Anyway, we're breaking forward here. Griffiths plays to Johnson. Alright, well, like I said, things just aren't going too well. Henderson on a 6.4. We have no more midfielders to bring on either, so... Gonna have to play this one out, see how things go. Suta with a nice ball out to O'Donnell. Beats his man, one-on-one. -on -one, and that is the most weakest... Sh that is the weakest shot I've ever seen. Gotta be doing better than that. Anyway, I'm gonna push the boys forward. See if that does anything. We've got a corner. Griffiths heads it over the bar. Not a great header from our striker. And, you know, we, we actually turn things on a little bit in regards to the stats. We're up to 22 shots. However, we still can't find a winner. The ball is over the top, though. Griffiths, and he's blasted that one. Almost went out for a throw-in. Dreadful stuff. He's on a 6.3. I mean, I, I could take him off, but it, there's literally no one to bring on, so. It's going to finish a one-all draw against Hearts here today. Not a great start to the episode. However, it's not a loss. We haven't lost the game. Uh, we've also got this game here against Maribor for today's episode. Away from home. We're already 4-0 up on aggregate. And I'll join you guys back for the starting lineup. All right, so let's get into the lineup. Made quite a few changes. Obviously, we're 4-0 up, like I said. And some players need match fitness. And obviously, others probably need to sit out a game or two. And when I say that, I do mean Dane Murray. I feel like he's been a little bit lackluster. Uh, we've also got Hendry back from injury, which is good to see. Um, probably want to give him some game time today, but he'll start on the bench. Uh, the starting lineup, actually, let's go with Gordon and give Gordon a game. Um, so Gordon will start in goals. We're going to go with Kerr as one of the ball playing defenders. Uh, Sutar's going to start as well. Um, we're going to bring McKenna in as the center defender cover. Uh, we're going to stick with Taylor. Uh, unfortunately, Douglas picked up a bit of a knock going into this game. Um, so he's not going to, he's probably not going to play, um, but I'll include him on the bench. So Taylor is a little bit fatigued, but he's going to play today. We brought in James Forrest to play as the right wing back. 
Going to go with Ferguson, who comes back in to the team. Uh, Going to go with Mallon today as well as the roaming playmaker. And then, of course, we've got Henderson as the left-sided box-to-box midfielder. Up front, we're going to stick with Johnston and Griffiths, basically because we don't have any more options. I think I'm going to look at getting a striker. I feel like we at least need one more striker. Uh, we can't really depend on this guy, Ferguson Williams. He's 16 and he's got zero potential, so don't want to be depending on him by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the rest of the bench is Bain, Douglas, O'Donnell, Dane Murray, McGregor, and then, of course, Ferguson Williams. Uh, also worth mentioning, Scott Brown picked up another injury, so yeah, he's going to be out for a couple more days. Hopefully he's not injury prone. That'd be pretty bad for us. Anyway, we should be winning this match without any sort of competition, to be honest. I know we're the away team today, but Maribor, no disrespect to them, but we're, we're a European club. They're more... I mean, would they even make the Europa League? Probably a bit of a stretch. Like I said, no dis disrespect there. Um, but I, I do like to see if we can score quite a few goals against teams like this in these qualifying rounds. And they've given away a penalty in the first nine minutes there. Hopefully Griffiths will be, will be hopefully be able to put it away. I always get a little bit nervous with penalties because for some reason he does score. But for some reason penalties always seem a little bit iffy when it comes to football manager. Don't know why, but goalkeepers seem to turn into absolute superstar savers when it comes to, to facing penalties. Especially against me. Anyway, we're taking the 1-0 lead. Obviously looking to bounce back with a, a decent victory here today after drawing that first game against Hearts. Um, I think it's put us into second place in the, in the Scottish Premiership. So I'll show you that after the episode very quickly. I mean, they had a decent chance just there in Maribor. They couldn't do anything with it, though. Now Forrest, with a long throw, gets to Johnston. Mallon, and his shot goes over the bar. We only had, well, we just got our second shot on target there. Want us to be a little bit more clinical. Of course, the last game, we, we scored a goal somehow. Absolute mind-boggling goal that we scored. Uh, but we've got a few more bad performers out there today. I mean, I'll say I'm pleased because we've got the 1-0 lead, but 6.4, a lot of 6.5s in there as well. Worries me a little bit. Kind of a, a nothing game, I guess. I mean, you know, we're already well, we're 5-0 up now. Anyway, we'll make a sub here. Going to bring Murray on for, I guess, Mallon. Yeah, I guess that kind of works. And then we'll bring Henry on for Sutar. And then I'll swap Henry with McKenna. And yeah, I think that'll be it. Just the, the two subs. Keep that third one just in case. Forrest is actually playing pretty well out there, which is good to see. Anyway, Murray on the ball. Bit of a poor ball by the 16-year-old. Still 20 minutes left in this game. Kerr with a nice uh, challenge there. And uh, Johnston will get on the end of that ball. Does go back to Kerr. He goes to Forrest. Very tricky player. And that's not a great shot, but, you know, positive signs nonetheless. We've had 15 shots and only three of them on target. That's uh, it's very much a, a worrying sign. I'm going to demand more going into these last 10 minutes. I mean, it's made all the boys complacent. If they weren't already. And there we go, Lewis Ferguson getting a nice goal, rebounding off the Maribor player. All right, two, a 2-0 two away victory doesn't look too bad. 
So I'll take this win. Uh, this this win. Almost said victory and win at the same time. But yeah, Ferguson third goal. Two nil up. Six nil on aggregate. I mean, I want to be greedy. I always always want to score more goals. But yeah, it's been a relatively comfortable performance. I mean, we're breaking forward again. Griffiths, and he skews his shot wide as well. Just one of those days, I think. Somehow we still managed to get the 2-0 the victory, which is very important going forward. Going into a few games that are going to be off camera. I think the next episode... Ooh, we've drawn Slavia Prague in the Champions League playoff. Interesting. I might make that an episode in itself, depending on when it is. Ooh, it's coming up, actually. I, th I think the next episode, so episode three, I think we'll do the Slavia Prague... We'll, we'll do both legs in one episode, I think. So episode three is going to be the Champions League playoff leg one and leg two against Slavia Prague. And then obviously we'll go over the Hibs game and the Hamilton game as well. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you could smash the like button, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you hit the notification bell, turn on post notifications, and then you'll get a, a little notification when these episodes go live. So yeah, apart from that, take it easy, as always, and goodbye.